Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm a press officer at Oxtech, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the community engagement that we do in areas where we're doing projects with our mosquitoes. Uh, so just a bit of background. Uh, at Oxtech, we've developed this genetically engineered mosquito. We call it um, friendly mosquito. Uh, and we've added two genes to the mosquito. So one is a self-limiting self gene. Uh, and this causes the mosquito's offspring to die before they are mature enough to, to reproduce or transmit disease. And the other is a fluorescent marker gene, and that's just a, a way that we can monitor our mosquitoes in the field. Uh, and the idea is that we release uh, male mosquitoes, and male mosquitoes um, don't bite, um, and they go out and mate with the wild female mosquitoes, and their offspring die before they can reproduce or transmit disease. And these are specifically Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, so the mosquito that transmits Zika, Dengue, uh, Chikungunya. Um, with repeated releases, uh, you get a decrease in the wild population. So we've done a number of trials now, three in Brazil, uh, one in Panama, one in the Cayman Islands. Uh, and in all of these trials, releases of our mosquitoes have reduced the wild population by over 90% in around six months. Uh, in um, the Cayman Islands and in Brazil, we're moving on to operational projects, and at the moment we're treating an area of uh, 65,000 people in Piracicaba in Brazil. So really key to the work that we do is community engagement. The idea that you release more mosquitoes in order to suppress the mosquito population is a little counterintuitive. And genetic engineering comes with a lot of baggage and a lot of um, uh, misunderstandings about what it involves. So there are some kind of key points, I suppose, that inform our community engagement programs. Uh, one is that they need to be proactive. You need to start early, you know, well before uh, any releases of the mosquito start. They also have to be locally adapted. So in places like Brazil, this obviously means um, working in the local language. Um, but it can also mean more subtle things like understanding local channels of communication. There also has to be a two-way dialogue. We're not there to say, this is what we're doing. We're there to talk with people, answer questions and concerns that they have, listen to them. Um, and it has to be transparent. We're not there to say, this is what we're doing, but we're, we're there to kind of explain why we're doing it. It's also about being accessible. You can't just... Um, do one kind of community meeting and get on with it. You have to uh, use lots of different channels of communication, make sure you're um, reaching all sectors of the community. And of course, it's an ongoing process. Community engagement doesn't finish when releases start. It has to carry on throughout the project. Um, so this is kind of a, a broad outline of what a community engagement program might look like. Um, it obviously has to be tailored to each project. Um, and it's not prescriptive, but you know, this should give you an idea. So the first stage is intensive community engagement on the ground. So we do things like set up information tents in public places, um, distribute leaflets, we go door to door in the trial site talking to all the residents, um, hold community meetings. Uh, that picture there is um, something that's been really effective in Brazil, and that's getting a, a cage of uh, male mosquitoes, and um, residents can put their hand in it and see that male mosquitoes don't bite. Uh, then releases start, and um, this tends to be a big uh, media event. We invite media to come and um, see the releases, come and see the factory. Again, the idea that um, this kind of helps disseminate information throughout the community. And then, and as I said before, um, ongoing engagement following that, um, giving updates on the project, doing surveys, um, publishing in publications and going to conferences. And I think alongside that, there's an equally important strand, and that's engaging people online. Um, you know, increasingly people get their information from online sources now, especially social media. So it's really important to, to, in parallel, do that kind of online engagement. And we engage with the media as well. So we're always open to media coming and talking to us, seeing our facilities, doing interviews. So this is about concrete examples from the field. So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the work that I've had experience with, and this is really in the Florida Keys. So the Florida Keys, if you don't know, is the chain of islands that comes down off the south tip of Florida. Uh, and we have a trial plan there um, in conjunction with the local mosquito control district. Um, and we've been doing a lot of community engagement down there uh, over the past few years now. Um, so we're still in the kind of pre-release stage there. Um, so thinking about being proactive and accessible, um, I wanted to highlight kind of the wide range of things that we've done there. So everything from large town halls um, to uh, going door-to-door -door and talking with individual residents. 
And um, some of it's been really effective. Uh, some of it's been more challenging in town halls, um, kind of bigger than this. Um, it's really hard to do that one-on-one -on -one engagement with people. Um, but that's kind of, uh, that kind of highlights the importance of having to go through lots of different channels in order to ensure that you reach the, the, the greatest number of people. Um, we obviously don't have the language barrier in Florida, but it's still been really important to um, adapt to kind of local communication um, networks. So the Florida Keys has quite a strong sense of community. Um, it's a fairly small community and there are lots of local festivals. Um, so we've made sure that we had a presence at those. There's also a strong emphasis on local media, perhaps more so than national media. So it's been really important to talk and maintain good relationships with local journalists. In terms of transparency, um, something that we've done there is open up our facility, which isn't producing mosquitoes yet, but you can, we've still invited residents and media to come and see it, see how the trial would work once it starts. Um, and as I said, uh, community engagement online has been equally as important. I think that sense of community uh, in the Keys translates to social media as well, where lots of people get information from their friends and neighbors. Um, so we've done things like create infographics, uh, which answer some of the um, questions that people often have, um, kept people up to date with uh, regulatory processes um, on Twitter and on Facebook, um, and also written blogs about what the trial will look like when it starts. Um, and there's a, a, just a video here that um, you can come and see if you want at our stool upstairs. So how do we know if it works? Well, there are a couple of surveys um, up in the top left from the Cayman Islands and from Brazil um, looking at uh, app support for using our mosquitoes over there. Um, as you can see, there's the vast majority of people do support it, um, which is a really good indication that it's working. Uh, we also have data on you know, how many people have actually heard of the mosquitoes. And in, uh, in Purisacabra, at least, that number is up to about 98%. Um, so that provides a really good indication that our community engagement process is, is getting through. In um, Florida, there have been a number of surveys done as well, but one I wanted to highlight was um, last year, uh, during the election. So while Florida Keys residents were voting uh, for Trump or for Clinton, um, they were also voting on whether they wanted to see a trial of our mosquitoes go ahead in the county. And so about 40,000 people voted um, on the ballot and uh, 31 of the 33 precincts of the county voted in favor of using our mosquitoes in a trial. So again, I think that's a, a really good indication um, that we, we're getting through and that our engagement process is working. So that's it for me. Um, if you want to find out more, come and see us upstairs. and We'll be around all day. Thanks. <laughs>